Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of Real Talk. So everyone, welcome back. My name is Adrian. I'm Daniel. And I am Rob. So we hope you guys have had a fantastic week. Uh, We've had kind of a heat wave here in Southern California, so we're just trying to stay as cool as possible. It's pretty hot in the studio right now, but anyway, Rob, how have you been surviving? Uh, I've had the AC AC on full blast. I've been avoiding heat and uh, drinking a lot of water, uh, but I still got to go to work, and that takes me outside, but other than that, um, you know, just, uh, just bearing like everyone else. Just suck it up, right? Yeah, suck it up. So I got to do is suck it up and just not complain because I heard Death Valley was like 130 like the other day. So oh really? <laughs> it'd be 130. Yeah, it's one of the hottest days on um on calendar. Yeah. Yeah, it was over like 106 over here um a few days ago. So it was like yeah, plus it was that, like man, it's been hot. It was like like 70 like two percent humidity. So. <laughs> hot, yeah. and st- hot and sticky the way i like it yeah very <laughs> much so so anyways uh, guys we have a lot to cover um as you all know uh the dc fandom you know due to covid and everything you know we didn't really have a traditional comic-con um so dc came up with i thought which was actually a really good idea like kind of their own version of it and put everything online for 24 hours and so it kicked off uh, with Wonder Woman panel and then uh, Flash and then Black Adam and, and so many of the other properties. So I want to kind of talk about uh, what we saw. So uh, is there anyone uh, in particular that you want to cover first or do you want to Well, before we before we start, I want to make saw. a complaint because uh, you sent us a text with the times and they were <laughs> false. <laughs> they were all wrong. This is, uh, Actually, this is behind no, the scenes. Right they here. were not all wrong. <laughs> Just the first one. So I was anticipating, and then next thing you know, all this stuff comes out, and I'm late to the party. So, yeah. He's late to the party. I blame you. I blame you. Okay, so in my defense, (laughs) um, I got it on, like, one of the third-party movie news sites. I can't remember which one. I think I was getting the schedule from them. (laughs) And then, like it was, you, I, it, it was it was like a U, UK website, and they have all these times that are all off. Yeah, UK right. Times. They're all like four hours, four hours yeah. different than us. Yeah, well, they were actually all correct. It was just the first one. So when the first one dropped, everybody was talking about, "Oh my god, Wonder Woman!" Like you know. And then I was like, "What? Let me look at it again." And then I was like, "Oh yeah, they they had the uh, first hour wrong, but." So that's you didn't my even, bad. I dropped the but ball. you did, yeah you, okay. I, I was gonna say you didn't even apologize or anything. You just were like, well, it's not my fault, dude. I, it's what I saw. <laughs> yep. I was like, man, Adrian's just angry now. Can accept right, can accept what? that he was wrong. You know. Why don't yeah. we Why don't we talk about the one that we were late to the party on, and actually is going to be the one that's coming out the soonest, which is uh, Wonder Woman 1984. We got a brand new trailer, and then uh, Patty Jenkins and the rest of the cast. Uh, talked about the film for a little bit so uh rob we'll go to you first uh what did what do you think of what you saw you know what uh i really i did like the trailer we see um i feel like okay so the first trailer we saw was very like catchy and and you know very kind of like oh yeah wonder woman you know it's gonna be in the 80s you know because yeah. they being in the 80s is cool now um but this trailer Stranger things yeah, thank you, Stranger Things. Um, but this trailer itself, I I was like, okay, I felt like I was getting some more um, backstory into Wonder Woman, and and it felt it more like of a, a not like poppy kind of like hip trailer. This felt like a a uh, comic book trailer. This is this this is the trailer I was looking for. Yeah. And uh, when I seen it, I was just like, "Oh wow, this is this is really, um, this is really good." I even I was um, I was watching it in the car with my wife because we had to go uh, take care of some stuff. It was our godson's birthday, so we were okay. running, running around running errands. But um, so I was watching it, 
And I was like, you got to look at this. And she's seen it. And she, my wife hates trailers, but she watched the whole thing. <laughs> and she was like, oh, yeah, I want to see that. And then I told her when it's coming out. And she was just like, oh, great. I got to wait like a whole year. But yeah, no, it, it, it looked it looked really good to me. So I'm, I'm excited for I mean, I was already excited for Wonder Woman, um, but it, I'm more more pumped for it now. What do you, what'd you guys think? Uh, I let you go okay. first. Uh, yeah, I thought I thought it was pretty interesting. It looked uh it looked really good. Um, I guess I'm in the same boat. You like as far as like how the first trailer like it was trying to be something that it wasn't, so it was kind of like a little offbeat, like you know the '80s vibe and stuff like yeah. that. I don't. I feel like it didn't work for that trailer with like the music and all stuff. So, um, this one was more, more like it. it like more about the story like you it's right. like okay like it, it gave off a little like little hints about what's gonna happen with you know with the story and everything and with uh what's the name's character chris pine's character um so yeah like I, I i thought it was uh pretty exciting um look forward to seeing it hmm. next year you know, you know what for me i i didn't mind the first trailer as much as you guys did i thought it was fine it it, it serviced its purpose it was just kind of a kind of like a tease you know um, but, uh, watching this one, it gave us a little bit more action, gave us a little bit more into the story, showed us more of the villain. We got to see, uh, Kristen Wiig as her character there. Um, but so overall, I, I, I was kind of digging the feel. I liked it. Uh, the, the, the only thing for me really was Kristen Wiig. And the oh, you just why, can't you can't get past it. Yeah, you know, and it's and and I like her. I think she's funny. I, I like the films that she's been in, um, but but yeah, and I think that's part of the problem. Is I'm so used to it because I've seen pretty much most of everything that she's done, and it's like hard for me to get a little bit past that, you know. And and you know, and I don't want to hold that against her. I'm you know, who knows? She does a great job, but you know what I'm seeing in this trailer doesn't really um, fully sell me on it. Okay. Um, and then even too like the the story, it seems like she's kind of like, like some sort of like I don't I'm not familiar with with all the uh, Wonder Woman backstory or, or the characters, but from what I'm gathering from this trailer, it looks like she's some sort of like scientist or something like that that always kind of gets pushed to the back, and she's kind of like jealous of Wonder Woman almost, and so she's kind of like, you know, because from the dialogue that you hear, she's like, oh, people like you have always kind of like been given everything and whatever. And so she kind of finds a way to give herself powers or whatever. That's what I, I'm gathering. And she kind of goes after Wonder Woman. Um, so I like that story, too. Like, I, I've seen it before. So I hope that they, they possibly do, like, a bait and switch where they do something where it kind of starts off that way, but then kind of uh, subver subverts it, you know. But overall, I thought it looked fine. I, I, I thought it looked good. I'm gonna go watch it. Um, I think that's for me the biggest drawback, though, is Kristen Wiig. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> and there's a lot of weird dead silence. Um, I guess the next one was uh, what the Flash. Did, did you guys uh, were you able to watch that or? I didn't get to watch it. I just seen um like uh, pictures and stills from from different stuff they were showing, but I didn't get to watch the whole thing. Yeah, honestly, I didn't get to see that one either. Okay, so um, the Flash. I was at work, so yeah. Um, was wasn't like a full on panel. Like the, the full on panels were like like thirty five minutes or so, but the Flash was literally like ten minutes, <laughs> and oh, really? it was basically because he's kind the of Flash and it really fast. Yeah, so kind of. <laughs> yeah, it's that, like a promo, exactly. like a promo kind of. Thing. Well, yeah, that. But um, but and basically because they hadn't, there had they haven't even started shooting or anything like that. So, um, so it's just a kind of like a almost like a brief overview of what we can okay. expect from the flash film it looks like they're going to be going for that like that flashpoint so they're talking about how it's going to be uh like a like a time travel thing almost and like okay like almost going into like a multiverse thing and so um from what i was also reading and they also mentioned it uh we're gonna see ben affleck uh reprise his role as batman in this film and then also we're gonna see michael keaton uh, reprises role as Batman in this film, and actually, from what I had read, is that he's actually going to have a significant role in this film, not just a cameo. So that actually excites me because I've been wanting to see uh, what it would be like to have 
Michael Keaton back as Batman and, and playing that role again and then seeing what they can do with the whole time travel and multiverse thing. Um, if they get it right, um, you know, we could have something special on our hands. But I'm not going to hold my breath either because uh, DC has been wrong before. And then also, too, is I'm not a huge Ezra Miller fan. So, yeah. Wow. So you don't like Kristen Wiig and you don't like Ezra Miller. Okay. This Correct. is going good. <laughs> Um, okay, so with what you're saying, um, like they're 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 possibly looking at like a flashpoint kind of thing. Do you think I don't know if they announced it again? I, I didn't really catch too much of it. I just heard I heard that it's supposed to be a, that um, the Ben Affleck Bruce Wayne kind of designs Ezra Miller's new suit. I don't yeah. know if that's true. Okay, um, another thing, do you think obviously this is a speculation, do you think? Um, Michael Keaton will not be a Bruce Wayne Batman, but he will be a Thomas Wayne Batman if they're going to follow like the Flashpoint kind of storyline. I mean, it could be possible, but from what I've read is that he's reprising his role as Batman. Hmm. So, okay. um, so I'm going to assume that that's what he's going to be. But I mean, I'm I'm going to say it right now that I think he's going to be Thomas Wayne if if they're doing a Flashpoint. <laughs> I think he would be Thomas Wayne. Okay. And he's uh, he's gonna be like the Affleck shooting people, dead. Batman. Yeah, he's gonna be or Affleck's the, dad. Uh, yeah. Hey, well, yeah, I'll it'll be, be in, it'll be instead no, of yeah, instead there's of, a Thomas Wayne is Batman in that. Yeah, in, instead Wayne of dead, yeah. instead of you know Affleck, uh, it's Batman living or whatever. Like he, you know, yeah. Bruce would die in in whatever the case. But um, so I don't know. I feel I think that would that would be really awesome if they did that. But really? again, really? you know, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I really honestly, you don't you never have you ever seen the flash flashpoint like the flash paradox like the uh the other one i seen was the one the uh which one was it i think it was the, i think i seen the first one yeah and then the what was the other one that just came out apocalypse i think it was like a yeah okay, but but you've seen the one where like flash goes back in time and instead of uh instead of thomas wayne uh dying bruce dies and thomas P so you didn't like that no, well, I mean, like I've seen it before, so like, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. It's like I don't want to see that again. I want to see something new, and okay, I would, yeah, I, would be, I, I get that. I would be, I uh, yeah, I would be pissed if like if they did something like that. Uh, it's I like, don't know. I mean, they I are mean, watching I, this, this. It's it's a role switch, and so I mean, I don't know if you could say you've seen it. Before. But there's a there. Okay, you you have well, seen. Well, I'm talking about like the 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 animation. That's what I'm saying. Oh, the animation. Okay. That's what I'm saying. I I seen that before. I seen that storyline sort of right before you know so i wouldn't not really interesting yeah so like Fair okay enough. got it yeah all right i i get it you want something new and fresh mm -hmm. i'm tired of the same old crap so yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right what's next on the docket adrian oh next uh, thing is the suicide squad did you guys all right. see that one did you guys get a I... chance to check out the panel and all that I did. I checked out the panel, and I more so checked out the. Uh, is it a trailer or what? what it was like a like a sneak, sneak peek. peek. Yeah, very sneak very peek. similar to like what what uh, Star Wars did for each of their films. They would always release yeah. that like behind the scenes. Yeah, it first... was. It was cool. I mean, um, like you know, they didn't really show too much. They didn't really show anything um, except for like you know who, who who's the character. Who? Yeah, who's playing who. And I mean, I'm I'm cool with that. I still I'm more work. I'm more concerned that they're going to turn this into a Harley Quinn and the Suicide Squad movie because, um, you know, uh, Harley Quinn's I feel like the more not popular, but just more mainstream uh, character. But I'm ex it, I'm excited. The fact that they have Idris Elba in there because I really like him and these other um, in the word that Adrian would use the rogues gallery of these Batman villains that they're going <laughs> that they put into this movie, I, you know, is, you know, is, is dumb as some of them may seem. Uh, yeah. I like them and I feel like they're going to do well, uh, pretty good with them. Well, one of the things that really excited me about it when, when watching this was uh, two things. One, James Gunn, I really like his films. I thought he, he, you know, he did an excellent job with the guardians films, both of them. Okay. Um, but Watching this, I had I got like that feeling of like the the graphic novels, and then even too like this felt like probably the closest thing that we've gotten to the um, the WB uh, DC animation uh, films. 
like okay. the like the like, assault on Arkham style. Yeah, thing? like the like the yeah. the the, 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 the from the way the costumes look to yeah it had like that feel and that kind of really excited me about that you know and then i yeah like what you were saying the the characters there are the more obscure characters from batman's um and the dc like comic uh, gallery yeah <laughs> so i mean you, you got like king shark there and then even you know freaking polka dot man which you yeah know, i mean is ridiculous but i'm interested to see how he uses all these different characters i mean Really, I think the only two feet or like what two or three people that are returning are Harley Quinn and then the Captain Boomerang from the uh, first one. So right, and then the you know what too what they had mentioned about Wait, the story is, is is um the the act the actress who played Amanda Waller. Is oh she yeah, returning? Viola Davis. She's returning Viola Davis, as well. There you go, yeah. Uh, her and then also the guy who played uh, Rick uh, Rick Flair. Uh, Rick Flag. Rick, yeah, I, I can't. Remember. <laughs> they say Rick I, Rick Flair. I was like, what? Yeah. Woo. <laughs> 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 to be the man you got to beat the man yeah um like. yeah those are like pretty much like the only four returning i think from the original so you know that that first one the, the original the first suicide squad film was i think just utter trash yeah, um but this but this one really <laughs> excites me and you know what and and honestly that one never felt like a suicide mission and from what they were portraying this to be was like almost like a war film like a seventies war film, Suicide Mission, which kind of a throwback to a Dirty Dozen with Lee Marvin, which I really love that film. And and if it has and if it's able to capture that same feel, I think I think it'll be really, really awesome. You know, Daniel, I don't know if you thought anything about um, it. Um yeah, I I was it got me like excited because I didn't see anything prior to that as far as the new Suicide Squad. The only thing that I knew about it was um it was directed by James Gunn, so seeing the sneak peek like uh, got me into it, and it, it it seemed like like it seems like it's already like on pace to be a better movie um, than the first one. I know that's not really saying much because the first one, I me, pers- <laughs> me personally, I think it's it's terrible. Like I I I don't know. I, I hated that movie. So um, so yeah, I'm ex- excited. I hopefully they give him a freedom to do what he wants to do uh james gunn so and because i know i know uh warner brothers they like to put their hands on a lot of stuff yeah and kind of ruin things so <laughs> so i hope i hope this one's I, uh good i mean I, I feel like i mean i could be wrong i don't work for warner brothers um but i feel like with the success of other movies where they've kind of just like speaking like mainly maybe like of the joker and and wonder woman um where they've kind of taken their hands off and just been like okay you guys direct and seeing the success that these movies have had instead of them being like, no, we're going to do this. We're setting up this. We're going to do this. You know, we got to set this yeah. up for 10 movies later. Um, I, I think maybe they're going to be a little more. I'm hoping that they've learned and will be a little more hands off yeah. just because the fact we have other movies that they've let the directors direct and, and shoot their movie. And they've been successful movies, not only with fans, but also um, financially have been successful. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, it's been bad because I think they've been very reactionary. So they're like, oh, yeah. well, D- Disney and Marvel's doing this. Well, we got to do this too. And and instead of being your own brand and and doing your own thing that makes you new, uniquely you, uh, they they just want to try to copy that so they can you know make money. Well, obviously. Well, yeah. And instead of instead sucks. of being instead of being like, hey, you know what? Uh, Marvel had the past 10 years or whatever, 15 years and, and set up their movies. Let's take over the next 10 years and set up our movies. Um, they were just like, no, let's do everything now. We got it. And so that yeah, kind of, let's make a really uh, sucky movie yeah. like justice league. And speaking of which, and, we're yeah, nice segue, segue <laughs> right into that and talk about the Schneider cut uh, panel, which um, they released a trailer and they actually, um, did confirm it's going to be a four-part miniseries on HBO Max. And um, what did you guys think of the trailer? What did you think, Rob? Um, I really liked the trailer. It um, Part of me, as I was watching it, part of me was just kind of like, okay, there's something I don't like about it. But then I realized what it was. It was... Um, it was... It, I felt like they were... They're... Ch- they're trying to get us uh, back uh, in, I guess, 
the good grace. Like they want us to come, the fans that who are just like, this movie was garbage. They want us back. And I felt like there was a little, I don't know if, if, if this makes sense, but almost a little like, you know, sucking up to us, like, hey guys, look at, look at, what yeah, no, and look I get all I, this stuff that we're doing to get you guys yeah, back. I think I agree with you on that. So mm. I didn't like that, but at the same time, I mean, when yeah, they're pandering. There you go. But when I seen certain shots and certain scenes, especially like one where they're just kind of all lined up, and I was just like, oh man, this that looks awesome. But I, so there was, I liked it, and I didn't like it. The pandering, I did not like. Yeah, but I think that's the what scenes it, I did. I agree. And I think that's what it was is that, that, yeah, you're right. I think because there was such a huge movement and I think, and again, kind of back to what we were just talking about, about WB kind of changing their ways. Um, I think that's kind of them acknowledging it. Like, yeah, we screwed up. We shouldn't have done it the way that we did. We should have kept it, you know, um, seen uh, Snyder's vision to the end versus just uh, let's throw something in there and try to make it as marvelly as we could. And, um, you know, and I think this is what they were doing is they were trying to say like, hey, look, at we heard you guys online and we're going to release yeah. the Snyder Cut and we're going to, you know, give you guys what you want. And and that, I think, also, too, is them trying to get us back into their good graces so that we go see, you know, the next 10 films that they release, I think. And so, um, you know, I don't know. When, when I saw the trailer again, I, I'm kind of in the boat with you where I'm not a huge Snyder fan. I don't really like any of his movies, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, you can shake your head all you want. I mean, you know, that's your choice. That's your choice, man. Um, it's okay. We always uh, we can always use people to be wrong on the show. So <laughs> yeah, someone's got to be wrong. <laughs> well, I, I hate to break it to you, Rob. I'm I'm kind of on Adrian's side on this one as well. So that's fine. There's, there's my thing uh, is is and it, and here's the thing is not that he's a terrible director because he has an idea and he has a vision and he, and he sees it out. His problem is is that. He's all style over, over uh, substance, and so he's he's not as strong of a storyteller. I agree, he, I agree with that. His stuff l- always looks good, but it's just kind of like the characters and the story just aren't s- as strong as they can be, and I think that's where he struggles. But anyway, as I was gonna say, the the trailer like I'm like it's still Zack Snyder, you know, but at the same time it made more sense. Like, okay, this is probably the movie we should have got and it is mm-hmm. the movie that we should have gotten. And and you know, so that intrigues me and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna check it out and I probably won't love it, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it better than than the crap that we got. Um, <laughs> uh, what was it? The uh, Josh's League. <laughs> what do the people say to the cause Josh Whedon? Um yeah, that that one was just horrible like there's nothing redeemable about that one um yeah i i had i didn't have too much of a problem of the movie the the just league i thought it was okay um the original cut uh so like i was like eh, it's okay like i thought i enjoyed it um so i wasn't i didn't really care for a zach snyder cut and um and especially for the things that Adrian was saying, like his, 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 his style over substance. So like when I was watching the trailer, the the new one that just came out, like it looked amazing as far as visually, like, you know, it's, it's very flashy. It's very, yeah. flashy. but like, I seen it so many times, the slow motion, like the slow panning and stuff. And like, I was like, dude, I seen this before from Zack Snyder. So it's like, okay. Yeah. Like you can have all these like flashy shots and like, you know, epic scenes or like as far as visuals and stuff but like if like if the story ain't good like i'm 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 not on board so listen like same thing with uh man of steel like same thing is this uh style i felt like it was style over substance and then uh um uh, batman was it superman uh v oh, batman, batman or batman, batman, versus, batman yeah batman, yeah, v, yeah yeah same thing so like i i i like i'm not I mean, I'll watch it, but I'm not like pumped up. I'm not the one of those uh, Snyder cut uh, people that you know. I, uh... I wanted the Snyder cut, but <laughs> you know so... what? And to be honest, I, I actually wanted the same thing because I wanted to see the vision. I wanted to see what we were supposed to get. This is this is where this is where I feel like I uh, just from where I'm coming from. I and I'm not saying like I liked Batman v Superman. Um, when I seen it in theaters, I was like, "There's stuff missing from this movie." 
and some of this stuff doesn't make sense. And it, I liked it. Did I think it was the greatest movie ever? No. Did it live up to my expectations? Not at all. But I, then I seen the director's cut of it and I was like, okay, I like it a little more and stuff makes more sense. Now, now I'm throwing that to Justice League. Watching Justice League, first of all, I'm going to say they just did Batman straight. You guys know I love <laughs> Batman. And they did yeah. Batman straight dirty in that movie. Um, it, I'm just it, like, th this guy, like, this isn't, like, he looks like Batman, but this is not how Batman would act or Batman would do. And so I just, that's kind of where I was coming from as far as being upset about this, about more how they use Batman. And then just kind of throwing, let's just take all the Justice League and just throw it at you with no nothing, no setup, anything, and just expect everyone to know who they are because it's a Justice League. Now we're getting, so that's where I had to deal with. Now we're getting this, okay, we're getting this vision from Snyder that he wanted and I, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna, they're not going to, um, stick their hand in there and try to mess stuff up again. They're gonna let him do what he wants to do, and so we're gonna see something. It, at the very least, and I've said this, I said this before. I was talking to one of my other friends. I said that yes, I have other friends besides you guys. What? Um, <laughs> I said this before. Yeah. I said I got garbage, in my opinion, when it came to Justice League. So if it's Anything better than garbage, I will be happy. <laughs> so, the bar, so the bar is the bar low. is not the bar is not high. The bar is low, and and just based on the past, because Justice League didn't come out last year. I think it was like what four years ago. It was like um, it's been a while, like three years. Yeah. So based on the past, you know, um, uh, as for, as far as other movies that were successful and letting the directors, like I said before, letting the directors direct. I think that they're going to let Snyder uh, do what Snyder does. And you're probably right. It's going to be visually amazing. It's going to, you know, there's going to be some good action. It may not be the greatest story ever, yeah. but, but I know what, I know what I'm getting when I get a Snyder movie and, you know, I don't think he's the greatest director. Hmm. I like a lot of his stuff. I know everyone hates Sucker Punch, but I thought it was a pretty good movie. How did I know you were going to say Sucker Punch? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, yeah. like, he's going to talk either about Sucker Punch or uh, Legends of the Guardians, the owl, <laughs> the owl movie that he that, did. That movie was okay, too. But <laughs> even, I'll say, like, like uh, Watchmen. Like, the, the Watchmen was good, and then the director's cut was even better. So and What's funny is I actually just bought I'm okay the Watchmen. With it. Did you get I, the director's I, cut? Um, it comes with it. I bought it on iTunes, so it okay, has it both uh, versions. Um, I just bought it. Um, it watch was on the sale. director's cut. I've actually never seen Watchmen. I thought you, I think you got on disc or something. Yeah, it's ama It's amazing. Well, oh, that's you, the thing. I was like, I bought it on. I bought it on VHS. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> why? It's not like it came out that long ago. <laughs> well, just because you, you, you got you got a seven twenty. That's all. I know. So I mean, <laughs> to you, to you, it looks like four K on a TV. You know, if you're to play a VHS. Hey, have you guys you guys heard of this new thing called DVDs? <laughs> Crazy. What was Actually, the one before laser that? Disc. Laser disc. Yeah. Laser uh, disc. Yeah. Laser disc. No. They're like, they're like seven hundred dollars for a laser disc. <laughs> anyway, so I I think that I think it's gonna be. I'm hoping it's going to be better than than Justice League, but I think it's going to be good. Yeah, I I, I think it'll be better than than um, what it's what the uh, what the last one is. I, I'm I'm positive of that, you know. So yeah, so we'll see. I mean, okay, so we got a couple more. Um, so let's talk about Black Adam. Did you see that, Rob? I didn't see the panel or anything, but I seen the pictures and. Uh, I mean, just give me give me the rock. The rock's awesome, and I I figured I, you'd love it because because the rock's yeah. your man. Yeah, the rock's yeah. like my dude. We're That's homies. I'm always you know tweeting him and stuff, and 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 I <laughs> yeah. honestly I think I when I when I first heard he was gonna be Black Adam, which was I'm pretty sure like 22 years ago. Um, yeah. I thought like okay, like I thought he'd be a better Shazam, but you know it is what it is. But like seeing the picture of him as black adam i was like okay like i like this guy is, looks awesome and he's beefy and big and and like he's gonna wreck shop so i'm i'm okay with that i'm excited for it 
Um, yeah, no, I, uh, I, I saw it after I, I didn't get to watch the, this part, uh, live, but the thing that I, I was like, okay. Cause it's like, they're showing like concept art, right? With, right. with the rock, um, kind of like narrating, like the story of black Adam. I thought, okay, that, that actually sounds kind of interesting. I want to see what he does with it. Um, the only thing is, is, is the same thing I had, the same issue I had with, um, with uh, Kristen Wiig. <laughs> Someone just walked into the room. Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, though. <laughs> the same problem, same issue that I had with uh, Kristen Wiig, which is, I guess so, I've, I've gotten so used to seeing The Rock. Like, I'm like, I can't unsee The Rock, you know? And so I think that's the issue that I'm kind of having. I love him as an action star. I think he's fun to watch. I liked him in Hobbs and Shaw. I liked him in the Fast uh, franchise. I liked him in, in all the other stuff. Um, but I'm like, okay, it's The Rock. And so, um, but he does have the, the, the look and the stature for it. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, uh, he does have the, like, well, that's what I'm thinking. He does, uh, in my mind, my mindset's like, yeah, it's The Rock, but, um, he can pull it off because he has that physique. I mean, he has that. He he he's like he I feel like act. he's yeah. He can act well. Some like I feel like he he was made to play like a like a comic book role, whether it be a villain or a superhero. I mean, if he can pull off the Scorpion like King, he, yeah, like he was he born, probably pull off this. He was born like I'm so I'm surprised like it took him so long to be like in some type of DC or Marvel movie. Um, like yeah. he was, he was like born to play a role yeah. like this or something. Yeah, but like I guess that, you know? I, I think for me, the only thing is, is that like, if he had gotten into the the comic book genre a lot sooner before it became what it's become now, I think I I don't know. I think it would have gone over a lot better. But I don't know. I I I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just gonna be the. I think uh, you're. I think you're just stuck. I, yeah, I think you're just stuck in your ways, Adrian. Um. I think the rock is perfect to play <laughs> back Adam. Okay. Black boomer. Adam. And, and um, it, I don't know. I think, I mean, I think he's a good actor. I think he can put himself in a role and I think you're just a little bit um, like he's the rock and that's it. But I think he's a, I think he's, he's the rock and you're not. I think, yeah. I think he's a little more than just the rock. <laughs> he's actually Dwayne. Dwayne. Is he Johnson. is he still going by that name, Dwayne? Dwayne Johnson. Like, I mean, is he still go, like he, in the titles. He, what does it say? In I titles, don't even pay attention. Just Dwayne Johnson. But a lot yeah. of times when when he gets introduced or anything, it's always Dwayne the Rock Johnson. When he when he first started acting, he wanted to lose the Rock. It was just like, oh, I'm Dwayne Johnson. But now I think he's just kind he of. He wants to be a little bit more legitimized. Yeah. I'm myself. I'm not yeah. the Rock moniker anymore. Like he'll still acknowledge it, but. He's he's just going by Dwayne Johnson now. Yeah, so. he he wants to be known as Dwayne Johnson. As in movies, he's rock bottoming people and choke slamming people <laughs> and doing wrestling moves. and then yeah. bringing bring rock raising bottoming eyebrow. Dom Toretto. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, we got one left, and we saved the best for last, and so yes. the Batman. We uh, we got a trailer, and. Uh, yeah, I'll let you take this one, Rob, because you're our resident uh, Batman. I am fan. vengeance. <laughs> now I'm a Batman Dude. fan too. I'm a pretty huge Batman fan myself. Yeah, you're, you're a Batman fan too, man. But but I, I don't think I'm on the level of I'm you. Spider-Man. I don't have a full on suit More or Spider-Man. anything like that, like you do. Yeah, you so don't. I'll let you, don't you take this. You don't one. have a you don't have a homemade suit and a cowl and and all that. But no, no, no. yeah, they don't. Adrian, sell, uh, Adrian, Adrian, Adrian is a legitimate Batman fan, as am I, as in Danny. We are all. I think we are all excited uh, to see this trailer. Um. I audibly, I was watching this, and I audibly, when, when he's just pounding that guy, and all you just see is him like, ja, ja. like I who are like, you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just, like, yeah. just like pounding him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this, this, um, for anyone, again, I haven't seen the movie. This is just off a trailer. But anyone who has any doubt about, uh, Pattinson, or I like to say Battinson. Um, or being the bat, I hope your doubt is erased because I think this, Patman. uh, yeah, I think he's going to be great. And I, what I, from what it looks and what I've seen, um, from the trailer is it looks like they're, he, we're getting a more of a, um, Arkham style, uh, from the games 
type yeah. of bat and it looks like that possible fighting style just from the little <laughs> clip that i watched i'm not not you know saying that that's what it is but just from my pers- my optics my perspective that's just what it looked like look. Mm-hmm. The first look at, and everything we get little uh, we didn't get too many of the villains i think we got um was it uh falcone uh but but we didn't get a, a, i look one of the char- one of the people in the chair looked like it was the penguin i don't know that was i don't Farrell. i don't think it was the he penguin was a, i think it was a chubby way yeah i that think was oh Farrell. that was that the penguin yeah, um from what i'm hearing he might play the penguin but but i don't think he is actually i i, I some people are saying it and right now, I think he's listed as something else. I forget the name. Okay. Um, but I don't think I. I think we'll know for sure once we see the film. Like I think it might be like misdirection because right. um, studios have done that before. Like with uh, Batman Begins. <laughs> yeah, and so I mean, but I gotta ask you, Rob, when you watch this film, or, or the I mean the trailer, uh-huh. when 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 uh, Batman started pounding on that that henchman. Mm-hmm. Did mm-hmm. you start screaming and like ah? No, no, no. Yeah, because <laughs> I, I saw that like, a lot on uh, reaction videos. That's, and I... <laughs> that's if someone put a camera on me as I was watching it for the first time, they would have seen me go yeah in a party for, for a child. Is what I legitimately. <laughs> it was a, honestly, it was just a natural reaction that I yeah, had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was excited because this is, I love Nolan. No, Nolan's Batman's for, for me are the best Batman movies. Um, and you know that the, my opinion. But this looked like, especially knowing like just what I've heard about him, you know, they're going to dive into the world's greatest detective. But then seeing the the costume, seeing him wear the cowl, yeah. seeing his look, seeing him fight, I was like, this is, and I love the Arkham games. I was like, this looks like a scene from one yeah. of the Arkham games. And I was like, I'm like, it, I'm a, it was already sold, but now I'm just in debt to it. You know what? It's funny. Right from that, okay, when we're getting the sound of the duct tape. Right. You know, and then we get the the image of the guy's face taped up, and it says uh, "No more lies." I think, right. and uh, right away I was kind of like, "Okay, this is what we're going for." And you know what? It kind of gave me that feeling of like um, uh, the movie Seven. You know, okay. Did, yeah. have, you, have you seen Seven? Yeah, where um, yeah. Brad Pitt and uh, Morgan Freeman. What's like, in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> um, you know, it was just like <laughs> had like that that dark like okay this is gonna be like a murder mystery like cat and mouse trying to find me i'm gonna leave you clues that sort of thing and then when we got to that part where he starts pounding on the henchman um i was watching it because i was i was out with my wife and we're, we're eating out and um i had to stop to watch the trailer um and i was watching it and when it got to that part i actually i'm not really like overreactive to things so when i saw it i was like like my my jaw dropped for a second i was like oh he's 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 beating him so so i mean if we get more of that same brutality from the batman character along with this really dark grittiness that we are are getting i think we have something special because i think we've gotten we've 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 had you know a lot of the action style batmans but we haven't really fully seen the world's greatest detective Batman. And that's what really excites me about this is the world's greatest detective and kind of like him trying to solve something and figure it out. And, you know, um, the, yeah, the look of it and everything I thought was, okay, this looks awesome. I I'm, I'm, I'm down. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. You know? Uh, yeah. When I saw the trailer, I wasn't expecting much. So like I was expecting some like little teaser, you know, uh, like a title and just like you know like couple like talking points i guess you would say um so i was genuinely surprised that it actually showed quite a bit and uh and what also surprised me was that it looked really good um like right from the beginning to the end it like it had me like sucked in and i was like dude like this looks legit and i i like i feel confident like it's gonna be a good movie i, I, I said that before is because uh, again, the, who's directing it and stuff. So like, I I, I think this movie's gonna look uh, or be awesome. Uh, you know, it's uh, and I can't wait. So like, and the thing that I was surprised because I didn't know this. I guess like, I mean, that has to be the Riddler, right? The the guy who's talking. I don't, I don't know. Like, what what do you guys think? Because 
uh, at the end of the trailer, it shows like a, uh, you know, the question mark. So that has yeah, to be right. Riddler, right? Well, yeah, um, no, it, I, yeah, I think, I think it's it the, is the Riddler. I, I think it is the Riddler um, as far as the villain. But I also, I have heard, again, you know, misdirection is a possibility. But I also have heard that the Penguin uh, is supposed to be in this movie. But um, do you guys think that this movie, I don't know if they announced it or said anything and maybe I missed it. But do you think this movie is going to be rated R? I, you know, what? I don't know. And again, that's probably like a studio thing where and, and not Reeves just because... is probably shooting it to be darker and grittier right. and, and possibly yeah, yeah, rated that's R. That's why. Yeah, that's but then why. the studio might be like, well, we want more people to watch it, so we're going to make it PG-13. And... But, but the thing is, like, Batman. I feel I, like I, but Bat- you know, at oh. the same time, I, I do have hope that they learn from, from watching um, what happened with The Joker, which became, like, one of the highest grossing films, like, ever. Um, you had... You know, and that was an R-rated film, and they right. spent fifty-five million or whatever to make the film. So I think they have to have confidence in their product and in their filmmakers. So I think if they make it rated R, honestly, in my opinion, I think they'll make more money that way because a lot of fans that are older that want to see something like that, yeah, are going to be more excited about it. Well, know? well, then too, if it's just, I mean, not saying just, but it. it I feel like if it's more like a violence thing, I honestly feel like when I watch these DC cartoons, the ones that are PG-13, they're yeah. pretty violent. So I, I think like some parents, again, I'm not a parent, so I could just be you know talking out of the side of my head. Um, I feel like some parents would be like, oh, you know what? If it's just because he's beating people up, that's why it's so violent. Then, yeah. you know, maybe I'll take my 10 year old to see it or whatever. I don't know. I'm not a parent. I don't pretend to be one. But I do pretend to give advice to parents, which they should follow. And I'm just saying, I would probably take my seven year old to see it if it was just violence. That's just me. if it was just violence. Okay. If it was just violence, yes. Um, yeah. Well, anyway. Um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> don't let Rob around your kids, guys. Uh, he's he's going to give them really bad advice and take them to really horrible films. So yeah. Yeah, man. I can't wait for that movie. Pretty excited. Yeah. But anyway, um, yeah. um, overall, I thought well, let's touch on this really quick. What did you guys think of the overall uh, format of this fandom and all that? Um, I thought so. I watched the Comic Con one, and I feel like uh, the the DC fandom took Comic Con's like mistakes and learned from that. And because I I honestly felt like this was a really um, put together kind of presentation of what they were yeah. putting on. I, you know, at no point was I like bored or felt like it went too long. I mean, certain things were just kind of like, oh, okay, you know, that really like didn't certain say panels too. aren't really like for you, but then like, yeah, but, but it was, you know, I, I think they did a really good job in putting it on and allowing it to be, you know, for 24 hours, it was going to be on so you can go back and watch it. Yeah. Right. And, and you know, what, I, I me, thought that was good. Yeah. For me, for me, I, I really liked it. I thought, you know, this is kind of cool because, like, I know, like, in years past, like, the Comic-Con thing, like, and I know that they want to kind of reserve it for the people that pay all that money to go down there and go actually attend. But for me, like, I thought this was kind of cool. Like, I feel like this is something that, that should kind of happen going forward because it kind of drives everybody to your specific site and everybody's That's there true. to watch it and find out and everybody's in anticipation. Like, for... And it's also, it feels a little bit more... I don't know, like fair, because not everybody can afford to go down to San Diego <laughs> or New York or yeah. for those comic cons and, and like, you know, afford to pay for the ticket and then the hotel and the travel and all that stuff. And so there's an option. Even I, I feel like even if they wanted to put like the whole event, like on a paywall, like if you pay 30 bucks for the whole event to watch it online, you know, that that would some be something like I'd be willing to pay for Like, you know, just well, to say, OK, just for- to get a first look at things. This this is what I mean. I think I obviously I don't want to get rid of like Comic Con or anything like this where you can go and see a panel talk and possibly get to see the actors or actresses, director of the movie, the, you know, the yeah. stars of the movie. I don't want to take that away because a personal experience, in my opinion, is going to be way better than a virtual one. But what you're saying, um, uh, as far as like maybe putting it behind a paywall, I wouldn't say thirty dollars because that's that's uh, you know to watch something. Uh, that's not a movie to pay thirty to pay thirty dollars. I think it's a little high, but I don't know. Like maybe some like ten to fifteen dollars. <laughs> well, I mean, because you got like 
No, I was going to say... Adrian, Adrian's rich. We're not all rich like you. Because you got, like, all the content, not just, like, one thing, you know, but... Like, right, right. But, but I mean, if it's open, I'd say, you know, you're, they're making a lot of money right there because everyone's going to go. Like, you're not... I'm saying if yeah. the place was open and you people can physically go there and, and look at the panels and, and be there and experience it. Yeah. I'm saying 10 to 15 bucks to watch this. You know, you have it 24 hours, you can watch it. I feel like that's kind of more like icing, on, you know, the cherry on top where it's like, we're making our money already. People who can't go, who can't afford to fly in from all yeah. over the world who want to because watch you it. Know, this is something that like, um, like Disney and Star Wars was doing already. Like they had been yeah, doing it for D23. like several years now with like the streaming the star wars events so like you could see all the different panels or the different things right online you know so i think they kind of took that and yeah and kind of did the same thing and i thought that was kind of cool so like yeah i mean yeah 30 dollars may be a little excessive but like i think like i don't know like if they want to charge for it or not hopefully not but i think like it's a good thing to go do going forward i think like you know so who knows we'll see like yeah I, I, I like both ideas having it like how you said rob uh you know, it's it's awesome being there and, and actually, you know, experiencing the event and stuff. And there are a lot of people who can't go or can't afford it, and it would be awesome for them to see it online. So the more options, the better. You know, yeah, it's a win to me. It's a win win situation. So because yeah. people really want to go to Comic Con, they will go. So I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't, I know, that, you know, executives because, and people like, I think, heads. Yeah, like I they, think- they might think like, oh, you know, then no one's in a show. Yeah, because but like they're the people, people who do the, the cosplay and they go not just for the panels, but for like the booths and getting to like get autographs and buying like all the different artwork and memorabilia that they sell there. So there's a lot to do there as well. So I yeah. think, you know, like yeah, what you're saying, it's kind of a it's advantageous for everybody, I think. And so I don't know. Well, who knows what they do going forward. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching our uh ramblings of the uh, dc fandom and our thoughts of the format if you guys have any comments on any one of the uh, films coming out soon why don't you comment down below and let us know what you thought of anything that we covered and also don't forget to click like subscribe share follow us on instagram at on the fence movie reviews and remember we'll catch you on the fence (laughs) 